Hi, my name is Nikita, and you're watching the episode three of Hot Topics. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. On Hot Topics, we discuss all things that are social media related, influencer, and then also things that are basically a hot topic. So today's episode of Hot Topics, we are going to discuss the Marie Kondo's method of tidying up. Now Marie Kondo is a professional organizer, but she's something a little bit more than a professional organizer. She's like a little tiny professional organizing queen. And she has a book called Tidying Up, and I will post a picture of it here, and then also link it in the description box below. Her book can be purchased on Amazon. But she also has a special which is on YouTube. It's a YouTube original series and she goes through um, several houses, maybe 10 houses. And what I like about her series is she used different types of families. So some of our families are single family homes. It could be an, an elderly family home or family with children, single, blended, just you name it. She really goes into these homes of these peoples and their homes are basically cluttered. So she goes in and she doesn't speak much English at all. She actually has to have a, a translator with her. And she talks to them about tips in different ways that they can tidy up. So you've never seen her tidying up uh, the Marie Kondo style on Netflix. It is a very good video or very good uh, series to watch. Like I said, it's only a handful of episodes just for the one season. Now, one thing I do like about her technique is she's very detail oriented. So um, she has a lot of tips for different things. So on each episode, when she's talking to a family, she will talk about some of the things that could be unique to that family, which can also be unique to yours. One thing that you do have to remember is that this is a reality show. So just like any other reality show, when the cameras are away, sometimes there are people there that help them, that will help the homeowners. Uh, she's very popular with her spark and joy comment. So basically, when you're going through your home and you're tidying it up or you're decluttering, what you're supposed to do is actually physically touch an item. And if it doesn't spark joy with you, then you're supposed to discard it. You know, donate it or, or toss it or, you know, rehome it. So... A lot of people kind of joke about her style saying that if you have family and friends that doesn't spark joy to you, you're supposed to discard them <laughs> or get rid of them. But uh, Marie Kondo, her style is very unique and a lot of people do like it. Uh, one thing that she does that I really like is the way she folds up her clothes, you know, even her socks and uh, t-shirts. She has a way of folding them up and when she puts them in the drawers, then you can actually see everything standing. Instead of having everything laying horizontal, Everything's actually vertical, so you can actually go through and you can see all of your, your t-shirts or your socks or your bras or anything. You can actually see everything being set up. So, like, her method is very popular. Her book is a bestseller. So, I do recommend her style. I do recommend her book. But I do want people to know that if this is something that you want, you have to be realistic and you have to know yourself. One of the things that she has asked her uh, people to do, her clients to do, is take all of their clothes and put them in one room. Basically, you know, you can empty out all of your clothes out of your closet, out of your dresser, out of your chest, out of your drawers, and sit them on a bed. And you're supposed to physically touch each item, you know, pick it up, look at it. And if it sparks joy, you can keep it. And if it doesn't spark joy, you're supposed to discard it. Well, to be honest with you, I can't do that. I can't take all of my clothes and put them in one room. It would take me years to go through each and everything so I for me and my lifestyle you know I have a family I have a newborn I have a toddler I have a teenager and I have a husband a kid in college or a college graduate a business YouTube social media full-time job teaching I can't do that or because it will take forever and I don't have a studio that's going to come in when the camera's not rolling and do it for me so I do tell my uh, clients and then people that are watching this to be realistic and don't be hard on yourself if that's something you can do. If you can do it, great. But some people can't do that. Um, 
what she does is she breaks down, you know, her home into uh, sections. And um, she just kind of like, you know, she starts off with your clothes and you go to um, your sentimental value items. And then she also go to the kitchen and garage and miscellaneous things. And, you know, she just kind of breaks them down that way. So the way she breaks them down is really interesting. And I'll put what they are in the comment description below in the blog post, then also, you know, somewhere up here. But I overall, I approve of her method. The Marie Kondo method is really neat. Watch the series. It's really good. It's very entertaining. And I love seeing real people working. The only complaint I do have is <laughs> when you look at some of the before and afters, you know they actually have the professional people coming in and helping them. And to be honest with you, that's how it is with any HGTV or any home improvement show. You know, for the people that you see, there's like five or six additional people for each person that you do see. So I just don't want people to have an unrealistic expectation when they watch the show that they can do some of those things you may be able to and if you do that's great but if you can't you know don't kill yourself so um thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this episode of hot topics if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below and also if you have an idea of something you would like to see as a hot topic let me know i would love to be able to provide additional information for anything all right, well, once again, thank you very much, and you have a divine day. Goodbye.